you could make a case a, a victory here tonight would be his best win of his professional career. Well, it'd be a big win and, and certainly a, a, a stepping stone in the right direction. That's how you start. That's a great start. 15 to 6. Oh, he's going to write his name up on the board already. No, nope, he's got the Sharpie ready. He's got the Sharpie ready <laughs> to add his name and move on to the round of eight after one shot. I like the confidence, kid. <laughs> I like it a lot. Oh. Messenger! Get in your home! This is why we were so jacked up for this one. Headpin goes to the sidewall, comes flying off and slams into the 10 and says, hey, where's that money you owe me? Otherwise known as strike track, 23.4 on the right lane. Hey, Rob, what's Australian for hand bone? I was just going to ask you that. Well, Belmo's got the first four, Randy. Should he or anybody else on tonight's show roll a perfect game, everyone in America can receive a free game of bowling courtesy of Go Bowling. I mean, the pin action is so dirty. Well, you know, the other question is if he didn't get injured, what would have happened at the Masters? Kyle with success here in the past in Portland, won a doubles title. There you go. There you go. In the fourth, strike, strike, nine spare. Yeah, Jason's way deeper on that lane. Triple for Troop. who just took the lead, Kyle Troop. Whatever he does, though, he cannot shut out Kyle Troop. Double for Belmo. Pretty good touch there. Looked like he got a little bit softer with his ball speed to give the ball time enough to turn the corner. Good finish. It Way to a, make it interesting. It was a great finish, Rob. And I think what happened was I think the left lane transitioned right in front of him and it got Kyle because it looked like that shot there. He moved it a little bit deeper and opened the lane up. For Kyle, a 37 pin improvement over his first game. Wow. We're tied. Look, Belmo has been in control of this from the start. But he gave a lifeline to Troop. And now it comes down to just two frames to move on to the round of eight. We said at the beginning, to be the man, you've got to beat the man. The man right now, the man who sets the bar, is that guy, Jason Belmonte. Kyle Troop trying to prove his worth here on the tour and take a shot at the belt. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Another great shot by Kyle. He's lined up on the left lane. My concern for Belmonte is his last two shots on the right lane. Remember, he went high, and then on his fill shot, he went light. Again, treating this, this is a, this is a two-frame game right now to move on. Just bowling the ninth and the tenth. Belmo up on the right side, trying to match strikes with Troop. Max score is 60. 
Have that. Well, that's big. Have that. Second shot here in the tenth. Oh, man. He got a little bit wide, and it came around the corner late and left an ugly ring at ten. This is what a professional lives for, is moments like this. You want the belt? Earn the belt. Must have strike, and he doesn't get it. Belmo moves on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What a horrible, horrible break. What a great shot. The bowling ball goes right by the nine pin. Unbelievable. Great performance. What a comeback by Kyle Troop. And then just a, a complete hose job on the shot in the 10th frame. Number one survives and advances.